Oh, everybody, so there's still water. Okay, this is a continuation where we left off in video two. This is video three of the uh, Bounding Your Village or whatever we want to call this series. So uh, now I'm going to talk about happiness because uh, this is really an important aspect of the game. So you notice when I, if you recall in the last video, I went ahead and I built this other stilt house. It added population, which made my village very unhappy. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about that. First, I'll go ahead and harvest these coins. The clock can run. Oh, look, you notice these are only producing three instead of six. I'm like, what's going on there? Okay, the little frown face up here, and that face will change based on the happiness of your village. It tells you uh, how, hap how much happiness you have, how much you need for your village, and what's the impact of that on your uh, production capability, whether it be coins or supplies. So I need uh, I need 142. Uh, right now, I'm only getting 26, so my production capacity is cut in half. So I need 73 to get back up to full enthusiastic, so I can get uh, the full the full uh, production ca capacity. He shows up here. You also notice it showed up here in the sidebar. This wasn't here before. This is kind of an alert bar that shows up when you have active items. Uh, so now I see my little frown face over here. It tells me what's going on, what's being impacted, coin and supply productions. Is being impacted um, and it tells you get a little tip on how to fix that build more culture buildings and decorations to raise their mood okay so to do that let's do that you know these memorials give 72 how many do I need I need 73 um, so a number of different ways you could do that so I go to build if you have culture buildings culture buildings are bigger things there's a theater which takes diamonds which I don't have diamonds and I wouldn't build that anyways it would have given 540. See that incredible bonus for what it's going to give you, uh, but it's going to cost you diamonds, which is no, real dollars. So, uh, so let's see. And that's just not my preference plan. Everybody's got their own. If that's your thing, go for it. Uh, but that's not how I play my game personally. Okay, so I go to decorations. So we got culture buildings and decorations. That's where we get our happiness and great buildings. We'll talk about that later. So I click on decorations and I see some different things. I can make some flowers, an obelisk, a memorial. I go back a level here, you know, dip, different pages, a tree. So a tree will give me 18 happiness, and it only costs eight supplies. Uh, and it takes two seconds to build, so it's pretty quick. And it's a one by one. Uh, I go over here. Now, Memorial gives you a lot, 72, but it costs you a lot more resources, 20 and 20. And it's a two by two, so it takes four, four squares to give you 72. So this is where we can start to talk about the math. You can do that math, say two by two is four. Divide 72 by 4, which is 36, to have that, 18. So you get 18 per square, uh, if you followed that. Um, and then what am I getting on a tree? I'm getting 18. Uh, so, frankly, at this point, I think I'm going to build a memorial because, yeah, I'm getting the same production, and I think it's actually cheaper to build. So I click that. These build really quick early on, and bam, all of a sudden I got some, some happiness, and I am happy. I'm not, I don't think I'm enthusiastic. I think I'm just happy. Oops, let me do that mouse over. I'm happy. Yeah, I need one more to be enthusiastic. You notice my production is back to 100%. To show you that, I will click on this hut that went down to sit down to three. It's now back up to six, which is what a hut would give you straight away if you were to build a new one. Um, it's going to give me six in five minutes. I'm getting 100%. So let's take it to the next level. Let's go ahead and add. I'm just going to do a, just enough to bump the... Uh, just enough to bump into the enthusiastic category. And in this case, I'll just use an obelisk, give something a little bit different, Stone Age. Okay, and I'll stick it down here. It costs me five, but it gives me, what's it give me? 18. And hey, look, I'm smiling. <laughs> so now I have some 120% productivity because I'm over, over capacity in the happiness category. Um, and I have an additional 17, so I can build something that can take up to 17, and I'm still going to stay enthusiastic. And here, this is the key to the whole thing. Do my mouse already knows now I get 7 instead of 6, so I got a 20% bonus on that production building. So it's really important. You always want to keep yourself enthusiastic. Um, we'll talk about the balance of some of the buildings to do that, but that's, that's the ticket, especially early in the game, because... Uh, you start losing enthusiasm, and you're not getting maximum value out of that. You're, it's costing you time and time and effort, and really every square counts. And when you're early in the game and you're trying to get resources so you can continue to advance through the development tree, you need that. Uh, every bit of resource you can get, whether they be forge points, whether they be coin, or whether they be supplies. Okay, so that is uh, that's the story on happiness. So let me go ahead and 
I'm going to go ahead and stop right there for now and make this one a really short video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, like I say in all my videos, please leave them below. And uh, any preferences that you have on your on your uh, culture or what do they call these decorations? I think right. Yeah, these are de these are decorations and those are culture buildings. So if you have any preferences on those, um, let us know in the comments. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day. See you in the next video.